The Edmonton Commonwealth Walkway connects all of us together. There are walkways in all the Commonwealth countries around the world. Essentially, it's a connecting path. We connect each other, we connect our history together from one to another. Um, the Edmonton Commonwealth Walkway stretches from here, which is the funicular, all the way down to the Grove Bridge. It goes through the Indigenous Art Park and the Legislature and John Walter Museum. There are 30 medallions which are in the walkway and it's uh, accompanied with the mobile app. With 60 stories that are on the mobile app about our history of place and our uh, wonderful city. So the use of the app enables us to do a few things. One is to make it very, very easy and accessible. It's simply an app someone downloads on their phone. So the way we've built it, there's actually, as you go to the walkway, you can pick one of four storylines. Did you know that millions of years before bison and cattle began roaming Alberta, a large duck-billed dinosaur known as the Edmontosaurus grazed here? I remember the train pulling into the Strathcona station for the first time, and it uh, came to a stop and bellied out some smoke, and I stepped off. Now, if you're wondering about the first thing you do when you arrive in Strathcona, you don't have to go far. You know, the start of the Commonwealth Walkway was probably about a year ago. Uh, Lois Mitchell, the Lieutenant Governor, uh, was involved in the one in Banff and so had some connections and with her service and living in Edmonton, you know, I think she kind of thought, wow, that'd be a great thing for Edmonton. So we're launching the walkway with the quest for the Golden Key. So what's the Golden Key? Essentially in 1912, the Alberta Legislature was open with a ceremonial gold key, but it went missing and it's been missing for a hundred years. So we're inviting people to search for the Golden Key. We know that it's in the River Valley somewhere. There'll be clues released over seven days and uh, finders keepers. Yeah, the partners uh, were, have been very important to this project. The River Valley Alliance plus the city of Edmonton where all the trails are, actually exist and ourselves and then the um, indigenous group at the city of Edmonton coordinated with a bunch of other uh, local indigenous groups and everybody has kind of come together to make it happen in a cooperative way. We've resisted the urge to build anything new. We've a hundred percent used existing walkways to kind of respect uh, the land and the river valley.